Oh, hello everyone! Um, I don't know if you guys wanted to look at Crixus the whole time there, but apparently he wanted to stick his face in the camera because he's such a little whore for the camera. Anyway, um, I'm here to give you the Week 15 NFL Week in Review and our Week 16 predictions, and here comes Crix Crixus knocked the entire camera out of frame with his tail, and now it is pointing in a completely different direction. But that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna, all right, we're back front and center here. Um, it's the week before Christmas. I got a little Christmas music going on and um, he's just gonna knock the camera right back out of the way again. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, week 15 started off and before I get started here, I just want you to know I'm tired of shit. I'm gonna blast through these. I'm still recovering from last night. I was out with Giant Riella in Manhattan. Uh, I made a video about it and uploaded it last night. Anyway, um, it was good times. Thank you for the great time in Manhattan. Um, okay, he's gonna lay down right in my lap. That's heavy. He's a heavy boy. Okay. Crixus! Hunt! Two! Go! Rescue something. Um, anyway, I I'm tired as shit. Um, had a great time, so thanks. Thank you to Giant Riella for that. Um, but now down to business here of football and all 1,500 of you that actually care about these videos. Anyway, week 15 started off with another shit bird fest from a bird team named the Philadelphia Eagles who lost again. Thank God it was the first game of the week and the only, the only, the only good thing about this game for Eagles fans is that it just... It just got the execution out of the way. Like, we didn't have to let it ruin all the other games on Sunday. We just got, like, that, that bad taste out of our mouths after a few days and got to enjoy real football teams play on Sunday and Monday. Um, the first half of this game, I... This, this was a game of Jekyll and Hyde. The first half of the game was great! I was like, wow! This Eagles team is finally gelling. I mean, not the awesome I even broke up a pass. I was like, oh my god, he, he looked like he ran a route properly. He, he knocked a pass away, and I was like, wow. Just everyone was making plays. It was, it, it looked like a real football team. And then the second half came along, and... Nick Foles fumbled, Bryce Brown fumbles, and that fumble of Bryce Brown basically clinching up because he was afraid of seeing a hit come. Oh, oh, you keep doing that shit in Philadelphia, we'll boo your ass right out of town. I mean, seriously, that you better not let that fucking shit happen again. Anyway, um, oh, thank you. Crixus brought me a toy. Thank you. Um, Oh wait, since it's Christmas, let's show Crixus, Crixus's favorite toy. What do I got here? What do I got here? Oh! Oh, Crixus! Crixus, I'm the evil demented snowman! And I fart on you! Oh! Fart on you! I fart on you! Alright, he doesn't like the farting snowman. That's basically what... You should put what... his Christmas hat on. Uh, no we shouldn't, because he d doesn't like that. Alright, so anyway, um... The Eagles suck. Christmas is coming. The Eagles blow. And such a Grinch. at least with this game, it's it just wipes out that dream of like, oh, the Eagles are going to gel the final four games of the season, and they're going to get Andy Reid his job back, and there's going to be hope for this team next year. With all due respect, it is it is rebuilding time. It is fucking rebuilding time. It's time for a new regime to come in here, take over, new coaches to come in from top to bottom, just blow this team the fuck up. That is the only possible solution. All right, so let's let's blast through the rest of these games. Um, the New York Giants lost to the Atlanta Falcons, and seeing this game just makes me go, what what, what is going on with the Giants? It, it's again, it's 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 one of those times where the Giants are either dominant or they fucking suck. But again, it's it's also Atlanta, which is a team that is notorious for kicking ass in the regular season and just shitting the bed. So again, I'll, I'll believe in Matty Ice until Matty Ice wins a game. I won't believe in him until he wins a game in the postseason. So we'll see. We'll see what the, this team can do in the playoffs. Because I mean, let let let's not let's not. Crixus, are you kidding me? Are you like seriously running circles around the camera? Anyway, um, let's not forget that Atlanta scored two points. Two points.
points against the Giants in the playoffs last year. And you're just going to have to, you know, go without the visual aid here and just, you know, look at Crixus while I talk from behind him. Um, anyway, the, the Giants blow. Um, another team that blows is the Baltimore Ravens, which is on a, a three or four game losing streak right now, which I'm like, what? What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Joe Flacco is Joe Fucko. He fucking sucks. I don't know, and I've never, never been that guy that's been a big believer in Joe Flacco for the simple fact that, again, he's that Donovan McNabb type quarterback that's going to put up a lot of big stat games, get you a lot of wins, but never really do anything impressive. Never really do anything that makes you go, oh, this, this guy's a Hall of Famer or anything like that. No. Anyway, um, Baltimore, um, <laughs> they're basically winning the division by de facto Pittsburgh losing O. Uh, anyway, um, and going back to that Giants loss, um, <laughs> it basically makes a three-way tie for the NFC East, and the bastard child Eagles are in the basement, while three teams compete, and three teams that deserve to be in the playoffs, in my opinion, and I just want to throw up. Um, Green Bay beats Chicago, no surprise, again, as I said last week and the week before, um, the tires are falling off of the Bears. What is he doing? He's... Come here, Crisis. It's... It's a water ball. What water ball? <laughs> a water bottle with a reindeer. Anyway. Um... Girlfiend has given him just demented Christmas toys to play with in the background it's here. It's Rudolph! <laughs> Whatever. See, it's Rudolph. And he has a red nose and he Alright, this ain't the Christmas episode, this is the football episode! Well, more people don't care about football. They care about Rudolph and... Don't, don't listen to Girlfiend. Again, she has a female brain, and again... Excuse me! Her goddamn dog knocked the camera out of alignment. Thank you, Girlfiend. Alright, um... Washington beat Cleveland with a backup quarterback. Um, Cousins came in and... I mean, that's just, that's just the Brownies being the Brownies, but... Again, we have a three-way tie in the NFC East. Um, the Giants are just letting two other teams potentially come in and steal that division away from the division that they should have had locked up. But, oh well. They will do as Eli does. When Eli is not doing good, that division's up. Oh my god, he's, he's destroying the water bottle now. That can't be healthy. All right. Um, Indianapolis loses to the Houston Texans. Um, that's just basically the statement game of who is top dog in this division. Doesn't mean, I mean, I still think Houston has the shot to go to the Super Bowl, but they just, they just have a, just a tough time against really good teams. But they are hands down the best team in that division, don't get me wrong, they're the best team. Um, Jacksonville losing to Miami, um, that's the Jaguars for you. They're just going to fizzle out like they do at the end of every other season. Um, which is good because I like the fact that Babin got basically shipped there because he wasn't wanted in Philadelphia for the cancer he was in the locker room. So good riddance. Have fun on that team, Babin. Uh, Tampa Bay gets shut out by New Orleans 41 to nothing. Well, that's about right. You should be shell-shocked when you lose to the Eagles like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did last week. They're probably like, my God, how did we lose to this fucking team? We just we give up. We're not even going to try the rest of the season. And that's what you got this week. I don't blame them. You lose to the Eagles this year, you, you should give up your season. That's pretty much what the, why the Ravens are shit in the bed right now. They probably, they probably realize, they're like, my God, we lost to the Eagles earlier on this year. We fucking suck. So now the Ravens are on a big losing streak, which, I don't know, someone must have reminded them that they lost to the Eagles. Um, and Minnesota beats St. Louis again. I hate Minnesota, but... This team, it's, it, it pains me to say this, I, I, I kind of want them to succeed for one fact and one fact alone. Um, and not that because I, I hate, you know, Green Bay and the Bears and any other teams like that. Um, I again, Minnesota is one of my most hated teams, but... They have that, that one player, and often teams have that, that one player, like, even if you hate the Dolphins, it's like, well, you know, you can't, you can't really hate Dan Marino back when, you know, the, Marino's behind the Dolphins. Adrian Peterson. What this guy is doing this year is just 
beyond amazing. Again, coming off a of major knee surgery. He's doing so good, he's making me want to see the Minnesota Vikings win. I, I, I feel sick to my stomach saying that for how much I hate the Vikings. But anyway, Arizona! Arizona won a game! Arizona won a game! Detroit! The fuck is your problem? How the hell do you lose 38 to 10 to the Arizona Cardinals? I know my Eagles lose in similar fashion, but still, Detroit. Um, a lot of promise, but man, talk about teams that do have promise. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks putting up another 50 spot. Holy shit, where is this team coming from with a rookie quarterback? 50 to 17, they beat the Buffalo Bills. Again, the Buffalo Bills, they just, they're kind of fading off into the sunset as well. The Carolina Panthers beating the San Diego Superchargers 31 to 7. Um, this is like the Cam Newton that we thought we should have seen throughout the entire year. And we're going to listen to Crixus Chew the Farting Snowman. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I almost want to say that Cam Newton can and should be that one next great quarterback. He has all the potential to do so, but the first half of this year, you were like, wow, this guy was a flash in a pan. It's the sophomore jinx and all that shit, but I don't know. He's kind of turning around the end of the season here, but anyway. Kansas City getting blanked by the Oakland Raiders 15 to nothing in another who gives a shit game of the week. Um, that game, I don't know, that is what it is. 15 to nothing. And it's Kansas City as a team that's going to lay a lot of goose eggs and that they have this year. In a game that I was just hoping a meteorite would hit the stadium. Um, no offense, I didn't really hope that. Oh, yes, I did. Anyway, um, Pittsburgh at Dallas, Texas to play the Dallas Cowgirls, Cowboys. I mean, I can't even take shots at this team. They're fighting for a playoff spot and they control their own destiny, unlike my team that basically controls the destiny of finishing dead last in the division. Um... I don't know why Ben threw that pass. Um, I mean, it was it was good coverage and it was a spectacular interception. But he's got to read the plays a lot better than that, especially in overtime. I mean, should have been a pick six. Granted, it was a chip shot field goal, and the end ends up winning for Dallas. Um, this is a game I wanted to end in a tie because it would pretty much almost eliminate both teams from the playoffs if they did not whatever team basically didn't get a win here is pretty much got a snowball's chance of no one winning the, making the playoffs anyway um oh Crixus you, you decide to join me why did you get feisty all of a sudden go 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 fix the farting snowman see Rudolph see Rudolph see Rudolph go go watch Rudolph fly all right, it'll take him a day to find that. Um, now, I told you guys, and a lot of you guys, especially you people in New England, didn't believe me when I said, be careful about the 49ers coming in to play the Patriots. You guys said, oh, the Patriots, they put up a ton of points at home. San Francisco, their offense isn't that good. 41 to 34. And you know what? This game was a blowout till Brady got his shit together in the fourth quarter. Like, 80% of this game was a joke. The 49ers made the Patriots look like a complete chump change team. And ladies and gentlemen, that, that is the team that I knew would take the field. And that is the team that is going to win the Super Bowl. And that is who I have predicted to win the Super Bowl from the preseason. Thank me now if you put bets on them. Crixus! Camera whore! Anyway, so all you all you people in New England, shh, shh. okay, Crixus didn't like that. Um, Crixus, sit, sit today, sit today, sit. You can't reach me, can you? You can't reach me, can you? Okay, all right. So, San Francisco making one of the biggest, boldest statements of the week. And you know what? I skipped the Denver game, didn't I, guys? I sure did. Oh, no, Denver beating Baltimore. That's another game that I was going to say was a statement game of the week. Um, Denver beating Baltimore. That is the team to beat in the AFC right now, bar none. The 49ers are the team to beat in the, in the NFC, bar none. Crixus, no sleeping. No sleeping. I pay you good money for this stuff.
That's Crix's daddy. All right, Crix has pooped himself out, tonguing my face. All right, now, in the most bizarrely laughable game of the week, we have the New York Jets losing to the Tennessee Titans, 14 to 10. Now, one thing that, that's kind of getting lost in this, and um, first of all, you know how before I said, you know, I'd, I'd rather be a fan of the New York Jets than my Philadelphia Eagles, like I'd feel more pride in my team? I wouldn't, that, 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 that logic reversed. I, I, I'm glad to say I'm an Eagles fan and not a Jet fan right now, holy shit. Mark Sanchez turned the ball over, not once, not twice, not thrice, not four ice, but five ice times. Five fucking turnovers. And he didn't even play the entire game! Five! Now, now that I got that out of the way, all right, we know the Jets are a shit team, and uh, f they're in playoff contention as of Monday night. That's, that's a joke in itself. It's like, what, what's the matter with football this year? That the Jets had a chance to make a playoffs going into Monday night. Anyway, um... The one thing that I, I think is kind of getting lost in this, and granted, the Titans won the game, and it's, it's hard to criticize the team when they won. How the fuck do you only win a, t a game by four points when you get five turnovers in the game? Like, h how bad are the Titans? I mean, like, Titans fans, if, if any of you are bragging over the Jets, I really wouldn't do so. I mean, the Jets are a shit team, and you beat them by four points while getting the ball back five times and the Jets offense clocking it up. Unbelievable. Anyway, um, that concludes the week 15 review. Let's just blast through the week 16 predictions here um, as my slow ass phone decides to upload. By the way, I'm not using the paper anymore. I'm just, I'm using my phone. Because anyway. we're saving the environment. It's something like that. Um, we have our first Saturday game of the end of the season here. Um, kind of this, um, you kind of knock the camera a little bit out of the way. Girl Fiend, could you, like, um, there we go. Thank Not you. everything has to be precise. Um, Atlanta at Detroit. Um, Atlanta's going to win this game. Um, Detroit just shit the bed last week. Um, anyway. Uh, San Diego Chargers at the New York Jets. <laughs> um, the Jets are somehow the favorite in this game. I, I don't know how or why that is possible, but... Um, oh, oh, it's because... Um, um, MC Elroy is going to be a quarterback, and I don't know why, but every, uh, I always say MC Elroy when I see MC E-L-R-O-Y. Anyway, it sounds, sounds, sounds cool. It sounds like he's like a white DJ or something. Anyway, um, MC Elroy is going to defeat the mighty superchargers of San Diego. Oakland at Carolina. Um, geez, Carolina's a nine-point favorite in this as they, as they should be. Um, even though Oakland won in shutout fashion last week, uh, Carolina is a nine-point favorite in this game. That shows you what confidence people have in the Carolina Panthers now, whereas in earlier in the season, no. You want to fight? You want to fight? Huh? You want to... Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! All right, there. He's asleep. Oh, okay. That didn't last too long. Um... <laughs> New Orleans at Dallas. Dallas controls their destiny. Do you believe that, people? Dallas, Dallas controls their destiny in the playoffs, Crixus. Crixus is upset, too, because Crixus does not like Tony Romo. Do you like Tony Romo? No, exactly. See, told you so. <laughs> he doesn't like Tony Romo. What can I say? Dogs don't like him. Probably because... Probably because he has sex with dogs. That's not been proven. But it's probably true. All right. Anyway, um, stop licking me. Anyway, um, Dallas will, Dallas will win this game. Um, oh, by the way, did I say they do win the Carol Carolina's going to beat the Oakland shitbags? Dallas is going to win New Orleans, and it's going to go into that final week, which I got to admit, no matter who you are out there, if you hate... The Redskins, the Giants, the Cowboys, as much as I do as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, are you not excited to see that final week of the season? RG3, Tony Romo, for the title of NFC East champion. At least it's 
it's something to, to watch and be excited about in this division that the, the season is going to come down to pay probably whoever wins that game because I do see both Washington and Dallas winning this week, and I hope it is, and I hope that division title comes down to that final week. I mean, I was just a football fan, fan, and just I'm just gonna be excited at that notion. So I, I hope neither Dallas or Washington fucks this up, and both these teams win this week. Uh, Tennessee at Green Bay. Green Bay is gonna win. Jesus, Green Bay is only a 12-point favorite in that game. Minnesota at Houston. Um, Houston's seven-point favorite in this, but I think Minnesota is gonna win this game. I think they're just going to, they want Adrian Peterson to break that, uh, that all time, or excuse me, that single season rushing record, which he, it's reachable. It's pretty far away, but it's reachable. Um, I think Adrian Peterson is motivated to run better than he ever has in his career. So look the fuck out, Houston. Um, I see Minnesota winning that game in Houston. New England at Jacksonville. New England's a 14 point favorite. Um, just to make things interesting here, I'm going to pick Jacksonville to win at home. Why not? Who gives a shit about records here? And I don't even know what my record was last week. See Jacksonville win at home and just, just make the New England fans cry even more than they were last week when San Francisco came in and dominated that game. Like I said, yeah, Brady came to, came to his senses by the fourth quarter, but please, San Francisco just dominated that game. Indianapolis at Kansas City. Um, Indianapolis is going to win this one. San Diego, San Diego, Kansas City is a shitbag team, much like the San Diego Chargers. Um, put up a goose egg last week, and don't look from the score too many points this week either. St. Louis at Tampa Bay. Uh, look for Tampa Bay to win this one. St. Louis is falling apart. Apparently, the only team St. Louis can be competitive with is the San Francisco 49ers. For whatever reason, they're the only team that has figured them out. They got a tie and a win against the 49ers this year. How? I have no clue. Um, Washington at Philadelphia. Um, oh boy, maybe the maybe the Eagles can derail Washington's hopes of getting into the playoffs. Get the fucking shit out of here. That ain't happening. Um, <laughs> Washington, Washington is a five and a half point favorite in Philly. That shows you how suck ass the Eagles are right now. Oh, Crixus, you, you messed up my thing I was looking at. Let me get it back here. All right. He did that earlier, and I did the stall when I was talking about the Washington game earlier, and, or excuse me, the Minnesota game, and telling you how great Adrian Peterson was, and I'm kind of stalling for time here now until I get the schedule back up. Um, so, yeah. Um, Washington is going to just come into Philly. Um, I see a 30-plus point deficit. I mean, it's 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 just gonna be it's just gonna be a complete and thorough ass raping, as it should be. A team of second stringers going against the team that is hot and competitive, and they're going in to try and take that division title from the Dallas Cowboys in Week 17. I I, I would almost be I would almost be more upset if the Eagles won. Like like I mean, it's not so much rooting against my team as it's. I want to see a really competitive game in my division to decide the title that is just going to put butts in seats and it has a lot of interest in it. I, I want to see Dallas and Washington have just a knockdown drag out fight for the division title and that's what it should be. Um, so anyways, Washington's going to win. Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Um, look for Pittsburgh to win but They've been shitting the bed as of late and losing the teams they shouldn't have. Um, the only team that they won that was a surprise was against Baltimore uh, with Charlie Batchett, quarterback. Um, um, camera whore? Hello? Okay. Um, look for Pittsburgh to win this, but again, um, their playoff chances and chance of winning that division are slim to none. Uh, Buffalo at Miami in a game that just means absolutely nothing to pretty much no one. Um, if this was in Buffalo, it would probably be blacked out because there'd be no tickets sold for the game. Not that they're going to sell it a shit ton in Miami, but look for Miami to win this game. Cleveland at Denver. Look at Denver to just continue that streak. What are they up to? 8-9 game winning streak now? Anyway, um, team to beat in the AFC. Peyton Manning proves that he is still the Peyton Manning that is the... One of the most elite quarterbacks, but playoff career, not so much. Anyway, um, it's a whole different argument for a different time. Chicago at Arizona! Look for Chicago to win at Arizona. Um, don't be fooled by that game last week where Arizona actually won a game. They're, they're not going to win another game in a row outside of that four-game winning streak they had earlier this year. The New York Giants at the Baltimore Ravens. The Giants are actually the favorite in this game, if you believe that. They're the two-point favorite in this game. 
Um, and by the way, these odds may change. So some of you, no, 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 Baltimore's a one point favorite. No, no, all right. Anyway, as of making this video, the Giants are a two point favorite. Um, that speaks volumes because um, Eli Manning is not playing good football right now. But that speaks volumes about how there's no confidence in the Ravens right now, and there shouldn't be. Granted, they clinched a playoff spot again by de facto of everyone else in the division sucking, or everyone else in the conference, like the Jets sucking, like uh, the Steelers sucking, and not being able to step up and take a playoff spot when they should. But I look for Baltimore to win home. I mean, is it possible that Baltimore could lose five games in a row? Like... Or is it four? I don't know. I lose track when teams shit the bed. It just kind of just, just, it's a big pile of steaming garbage bin fires in my brain. Anyway, and ending the week, we have a game. I think this is going to be a pretty good game, and it might actually be a, a solid game to end the week with. Um, no Monday Night Football this week, so end on a Sunday Night Football game. Hello. Oh, we see. He's still got... Crixus has still got his eagle spirit. He's got his little eagles football toy. Oh, that's so adorable. Makes me want to puke when I see it, but that's because of the odor. Um, anyway, San Francisco at Seattle. Solid game to end week 16 with. Um, I look for this to be a knockdown, drag out fight, but I see, I see San Francisco squeaking away with the win. Seattle plays really tough at home. They're putting up a shit ton of points lately. Wilson is as good as you could want a rookie quarterback to look that's not drafted in the top 10. Um, yeah, I, I, I see this being a really good game. Possible overtime type game. Um, Seattle puts up a lot of points, but San Francisco keeps a lot of points from being scored. Again, you'd be like, well, Patriots put up quite a bit of points. Oh, please. That's when, that's when the San Francisco 49ers defense went into snooze mode. Because they were blowing out that game in the like, fourth quarter. Like, yeah, let them score a couple touchdowns. Who cares? Please. San Francisco knows when to lock down a game, and they're going to prove it here. And they're going to win in overtime. So, that concludes... Our week 16 predictions, our week 15 review. Crixus, I want to thank you for being a great part. I want to thank you for telling everyone that you hate Tony Romo. That was going to be, that's going to be one of the most classic clips that you have ever contributed to this. Crixus! Oh boy! It's dinner time. Anyway, everyone, um, final week of football predictions. Um, I'll probably make one, I guess it would be Christmas. No, day after Christmas. Wednesday. Is, I don't know. Anyways, I'll make one next week, but Crixus will not be here, so the final week of football predictions will have to be done Crixus free. So I, I want to, you know, break it to you guys slowly. Apparently, Crixus wants to tell you too. But okay. Anyway, everyone, enjoy your football, and uh, please, Dallas beat the Saints. Eagles, please. Please lose to the Redskins. I know, I know. I don't care if you're from Philly. Oh, you're not going against your team. Fuck you, I'll do whatever I want. I just want to see a good game in this division. Please. Let, let, let Dallas and Washington have a game for the title on week 17. Anyway, everyone, have a great day. Better tomorrow. Merry Christmas if I don't see you. Um, I got some very special videos coming out in the near future regarding Christmas, so stay tuned. That is all.